Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is the second part of our Web API and React.js project, which is Books Management Project. So, so far we have created a Web API project and also a React project. And inside this Web API, we have created a single method, which is add new book. And inside this React project, we have created a add book and dashboard components all right and if i go back to the browser so this is our default web api interface and this is our front end so if i click on add new book so this is a new book form and if i go back to sql server so you can see so this is a default data which we have already added into our table from front end so so far we have created this so in this video we will work on this book list component so go back to visual studio code and inside this book list so as of now it is a blank so let's try to make this component so first import react from react and then import axios from axios and then import card card body card header call row table from react strap so now let's try to make function component so function book list so it will accept props from the parent component so first create a state and for state we need use state so let's import use state and use effect so const data set data so initial state would be a blank array so use state so now we'll use our use effect so use effect So inside this first we will need our API URL so first let me close this and now we need to create a new method for returning the data so that would be a get method so the HTTP verb would be HTTP get and then public object get all books this is the method name you can rename it or you can give a name whatever you want any meaningful name so it will return db dot book details dot to list so what it does it is returning everything whatever is there in this particular table all right so let's save this so we are done with our web api get method so let's rerun this project and now go back to visual studio code and continue the front end work so here first we will use const let's say the method name oh, get data and this would be a async arrow function And inside this we will use axios so const result equal axios dot get 
the first parameter is the API so let's go to the browser and copy this this is the base URL and paste here and also the remaining part which is API and let's say get all book and book because we have decorated the prefix API books not book and then the method name so set data result and then call this get data method or axios call oops we need to use a wait over here so let's save this and finally export default book list let's save this so now this is our use effect and we need to return the data so return so inside this return we need to create our HTML part so this is the HTML part you can see in this we have created a single row and a column and inside this like the ad book we are using card card header card body and whatever data we are receiving in this data object we are using to map on this and trying to render these TRTTs all right so let's save this now if I go back to browser and let's try to run this project which is localhost 3000 this is the default URL of a react project so now if I go back to book list so nothing is rendering use state is not defined oops save this so data map is not a function so we need to check the data is coming or not result dot data so in, if we use axios so we need we use result dot data and if we are using fetch so we don't need to use this dot data property it automatically get the results so let's save this now go back to browser so you can see the data has been rendered Manoj tag added delete so now if I go back to add new book and let's say add IT Microsoft save you can see let me add another so are adding and the listing rendering property both components are working perfect let's also go to SQL server and try to check yeah everything is coming in the database also so this is how you can create a get request in the web API and how you can use axios.get to get data from a web API to front end so this is about today's video in the next video we will work on this delete part and then this edit part all right so this is about today's video if you like it hit the like button share comment if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe so that when I whenever I post this kind of video so you'll get the notification at the earliest and if you need any kind of help regarding this video or my previous content so you can follow me on Instagram my Instagram handle is open programmer you can also find this in channel description so I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye